Okay, um, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to set up um, a free open source control panel and the name of it is uh, the Centora control panel and essentially it is a lot like cPanel it's slightly um, less complex but again it's totally free you can put this on as many servers as you want as many VPS accounts as you want as many IPs it's free um, and I have of the number of open source options I've tried it's pretty darn good um, it's pretty darn good um, and I'm going to show you how to set it up at DigitalOcean and we're gonna set it up on Ubuntu um, we're gonna set it up on Ubuntu 14.05 okay we're not gonna set it up on 16 now um, uh, just a moment please okay so here's the thing it's really important to understand now I've already created a droplet but you need to do I guess you need to do an install where you are not installing PHP we're gonna let the control panel do that for us you are not installing Apache we're gonna let the control panel do that the control panel has a script which you're gonna see in a second that will handle that including MySQL so you want your Ubuntu installation to be clean, clean so to speak you want it to be kind of fresh um, and so I recommend if you've already got an installation happening to just do a clean install that way all of the different configurations will be set just right um, right at the beginning all right and you know at, at uh, DigitalOcean you can get these for five dollars it's very cheap um, and yeah so I'm going to assume you've created your droplet and you've created it with Ubuntu 14.04 okay now so the next step is we want to um, well we need to create a domain and not only do we need to create a domain but we need to we must it is we must create um, a subdomain for this particular control panel you access it through a subdomain so it is mandatory you must do that okay so I'm going to do it over there on this thing called NY droplet I'm going to quickly I'm going to create a domain over here um, okay add a domain and what are we going to add uh, we're gonna do this one it's called uh, Chinese frequency dictionary.com what's a what's a what's a frequency dictionary anyways um, well a frequency dictionary is something where you can usually they list words from one the most common word and going all the way up to you know sometimes they'll have 10,000 sometimes they'll have 5,000 and so you can see uh, and for some reason here um, Chinese frequency dictionary let's make sure I've got that here Chinese frequency dictionary.com okay I should have that it should be working uh, okay connection was interrupted I'm actually in China right now so from time I use a uh, I use a VPN right to get beyond the firewall the you know China has a firewall that blocks everything right so I normally just will keep it on so a couple things about why would you want to uh, as as we wait here uh, let's let's touch on just a few reasons why would you want to use an open source uh, control panel instead you know why would you want to use a control panel at all and you know in the first instance you know just to begin with 
Well, setting up your own mail server can be an enormous pain in the butt. It can also be, a, it can be, even if you can do it successfully, okay? And I'm not saying you can't. I'm sure you can. That's fine. But it's, it is a pain in the butt. It can take a lot of time to do that. Uh, how about setting up a web, setting up web mail? Um, setting up web mail also, uh, you know, so your client will have uh, a, if you have lots of different uh, domains so that your client can have their web mailbox and they can log into it. Uh, that is not, um, you know, that is, can be a pain in the butt. If you've ever configured, uh, for example, Roundcube, again, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So now what we want to do, let's add a, a C name record so that, uh, let's say someone types in www, um, it will also go to um, it will also go to our domain. You know our our um, normal do domain. You know how some people will not type in the www at the beginning of a do domain name, and others will. So we want to create that as well. Okay. Um, now, so, um, I guess, so it's pretty, I think there, there are a lot of reasons why um, one might want to, uh, why one might want to uh, have one of these control panels. And also cPanel, quite frankly, it only works on CentOS, right? Cent CentOS, um, and that uh, you know that's not necessary. Maybe you want to use Ubuntu, and this this control panel you can put it on CentOS if you want. You can also you can also uh, put it on um, uh, you, if you want, you can put it on. Okay, so you, you need to have a subdomain set up. And um, okay, and in just a moment, we're going to actually start installing. Um, the software. So right, there's a there's a lot of reasons why we might want to to do to do this. Um, All right. Okay. So let's go over and let's start installing this thing. First of all, here's the we need to have. There is a script that's going to handle um, a lot of the details here for us. Okay. It's going to handle a lot of the details for us. Uh, and just a moment. Obviously, we need to log up to our server. We need to log into our server and so here's the script. They have an installation script that is going to do a bunch of stuff for us. It's going to install PHP. It's going to configure the mail server. It's going to do all this stuff. Um, now some of this it takes a moment but um, it takes a moment, however, um, it's pretty straightforward. So let's let's choose the time zone. Um, I'll choose Asia. I'll choose Hong Kong. 
Now here is the subdomain. This is crucial. We're at a crucial point here. Remember how I set up panel dot Chinese frequency dictionary dot com. Okay. Panel dot Chinese frequency dictionary dot com. Now either you can enter your IP address or you can confirm it. Uh, and so we want to, you're going to need to put it in there. Okay, DNS successfully resolves to panel.chinesefrequencydictionary.com. That is where we're going to log in and get all the benefits um, of having this control panel, right? We want to add lots of domains. Maybe we, we have tons of different domains that we want to. Uh, put on there and maybe maybe we we'll want to offer hosting again we want to be able to charge money for this theoretically or maybe you don't even want to charge money you just want to be able to have other people with accounts but probably you do want to charge money <laughs> um, okay so uh, that's where we access it we access it at your subdomain you don't have to call it panel obviously you could call it my panel or you could call it centora panel whatever um, and in another video I'm going to show you how to add encryption add a free SSL certificate there's more than one way but I'm going to show you the way to do it using let's encrypt it's kind of like a program a um, a movement. Hey, let's get everybody using encryption. And it's for free. Okay, it's for free. And so we're going to encrypt both um, our individual domain names, one, two, or a hundred different domain names, as well as our panel itself, um, which is going to be useful. Uh, of course, you know the SSL, it will help with search engine optimization of your domain name, and it helps with op more than helps with security it's it's vital for security um, now again in a moment I'm gonna the, you'll see your passwords your passwords are gonna show up here and I am probably going to I will have already deleted this by the time you watch the video meaning if you go to this domain it might not be up so I'm gonna delete this account I don't care if you see the passwords right um, and if you want to know how to change your passwords, a lot of them, I mean, you, well, I'm going to show you how to change one password. But if you want to change your passwords for your po for postfix or for um, my, uh, the, there's a number of different passwords involved. But if you, if you want to do that, you can email me or, or leave a message um, down below. Um, but uh, changing your control panel password is really easy. I'm going to go into that um, in just a moment. Uh, again, it, it takes just a minute to get this thing set up. Uh, and what else can I tell you while we're waiting? Um, again, I, it's imperative that you let their installer script, the one that's r running here, go ahead and do all these installations. So you can't take a server or web hosting account and where you've got all your configurations of Apache, MySQL, PHP in some particular setup that you've been using what you want to do is let their um, script do it. Okay, so now here we can see, um, okay, so your control panel will be right here and your username is zadmin and at the present time or last time I looked you can't change that. Um,
So let's uh, let's try to log into it. Um, Now it may take a moment. Okay, remember your DNS. Sometimes it may it may take a moment for this to start going. Um, so again, it tends to work out of the box pretty quickly. Okay, it tends to work out of the box pretty quickly. Um, and I really I, I really appreciated the fact that. Here, your ability to set up domains. If I want to create some domains, I can do that really quickly. Um, if I want to uh, use PHP my admin, again, it's set up, it's ready. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna post some videos on that as well. Again, this is just getting it initially set up. Of course, we want to. We're gonna also install uh, an SSL certificate to make this secure, um, etc. And okay. Again, I'm also going to okay.